A new shotgun is being introduced into the Wild West, and it operates in semi-automatic. What else can I say except it is an American classic, made by legendary gunsmith John Moses Browning. Either way, I'll be explaining the history of this shotgun, the details of it, and what to expect when it gets added. Let's get into it. Finished being designed in 1898, Mr. Browning designed his first auto-loading shotgun, which was later produced by a Belgium company named Fabrik National de Herstal, or better known as FN, in 1902. The shotgun was branded as the Browning Auto 5. The shotgun was later licensed to an American company named Remington in 1905, effectively making it the first American auto-loading shotgun, and that shotgun was named the Remington Model 11. Weighing 4.1 kilograms and 127 centimeters in length, the shotgun also came in a variety of gauges, notably the 12, 16, and 20 gauge. Furthermore, depending on the gauge type, the Browning Auto can hold 2 to 4 rounds in a 2 beater magazine and one in the chamber, making it hold 5 rounds at max. To explain what a shotgun gauge is, the gauge numbering represents the number of pellets weighing and sized equally to sum up to a pound of lead. So, the larger the gauge, the smaller and lighter the pellets are, and vice versa. As for the fire rate of the gun, I've read that it could fire up to 10 to 15 rounds per minute. Being that there will be two variants of the shotgun, a full length and a sawed off version, it will be certain that there will be one for a primary and one for the secondary. As for the ammo count for each shotgun, I'd say that both guns would have 5 rounds each. This is due to the 2 beater magazine not being affected on both guns. On to the damage, the Browning as it is can either be a 12 or a 16 gauge, but 20 gauge can be ruled out as it was developed outside of the time frame of the Wild West. Both the Mule and the 1855 shotgun use the 10 gauge shells. Because of this, we can assume that the damage of the Browning could be lesser than these weapons, but would compensate with having more pellets to hit. Other than that, my guess is good as yours. Finally, as for how you probably could obtain it, you might be able to obtain the pistol variant from progressing the sidearm quest, and the rifle from the primary quest, either that or through the gun store, but hopefully not, as it will make obtaining it less rewarding. A legendary 5 round semi-auto shotgun that shoots a lot of pellets, and it's coming to the wild west. Hopefully, it will be balanced, but time will tell. Well, that's all for the video. Like the video if you find it enjoyable, and subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward for more content. Stay tuned for my next video though, as I'll be releasing a ludicrous grinding guide that can net you $64,000 an hour. Anyway, I'm 360, and tread carefully in the Wild West.